Hello and welcome to Web Applications for Everybody. Uh, in this uh, walkthrough, we're going to walk through the assignment that's associated with the basic uh, JavaScript lesson. Um, here it is. It's the auto. Uh, it's the um, the assignment is to basically build a profile database. Now, part of the philosophy of this assignment is I assume that you just finished the autos CRUD assignment with an autos table and a users table, and I I want you to sort of build a second CRUD application. You can really look back at your old one for inspiration, but this this is going to be the basis for the next couple of assignments for this course. So you ought to get this right. And, and um, if you just barely got it working in the previous assignment, then you should sort of take this opportunity to really understand what's going on. So let's play a little bit with it. It's got some JavaScript in it, some in-browser JavaScript data validation. So let's take a look at this. Um, Actually, I'm going to show it to you on my uh, local host. Okay. Um, but before I do, I want to set up my tables. And I've got some tables here in my MISC database. <clears throat> and I'm going to just drop those and show you how I have to start with tables. Obviously, if I run my code now, I think <laughs> blew up, right? Um, but I give you some code to set this up. We've got to create table for users. Copy that over, create the table for the users, then create the table for profile. You've got to create these in the order because there is the um, foreign key constraint. So if the user table doesn't exist, you won't be able to create the profile table. Kablooey, there that goes. Um, so that makes that work now. Um, and if I go back to the assignment, I got to insert these hashed passwords. So I'm going to insert uh, UMSI and the hash password. I explain all this stuff, but then I kind of give you cheaty steps that make your life a little easier. So now, so here we are at the resume. I'm going to use my local host one here, not the global one, so you can watch what's happening in the database. I've got a, a, a profile, a, data, a table, and a, and a user's table. So the first thing is that um, you're supposed, this is the JavaScript bit, you're supposed to do in-browser validation. And so if I do a view source on this page, you can see what I've got. I've got a, um, on the click of the login button, I've got, I'm going to run do validate, okay? And it's either going to give me a true if it's valid and then actually submit the form, or it's going to give me a false and blow up. And so you see this return true and return false, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the interesting thing about JavaScript is I can't hide it from you. I mean, the JavaScript runs in the browser. And so, you know, deep in the request response cycle, this is out here in your browser. No server actions going on at all right now. And so, um, you know, I, I can't hide it from you. So I even show you all this. I give you all this code somewhere in here. Yeah, here, JavaScript validation. So I mean, I might as well tell it to you because I'm going to show it to you. If you're smart enough to do view source, you can figure it out. So what happens is, is when I type this stuff, so I type this with no at sign and I'm hit login, JavaScript is going to run. And now what's going on is this alert invalid email address has popped up. If I blank them all out, and I hit it, the JavaScript will stop and say both fields must be filled out. Now, if I get it right, so let's just put in like the wrong stuff. That's going to be a server side check. <laughs> no, that was a client side check. Service, now it's a server side check. That's a server side check with a redirect, with a flash message, the whole thing, right? And so if I take a look at login.php, um, you know, this looks a lot like the login.php you've been doing all along. You know, this is a, a, a redirect. And then here is the do validate. And then there's the script code. So I, I put that all together in the login. That's very similar to the login that you've been working in uh, before. Okay, so let's log in successfully. UMSI. That's really the JavaScript here. Um, PHP123. Login, add a new entry. 
There's no, no JavaScript in these, although soon we will, in the next assignment, we'll be going crazy in these add things. This will we'll be changing the add and edit more in the next few assignments. Let's do a valid thing. There you go. Yeah. And th this is just crud, right? We're just we're just going into like the profile table and got first name, last name, email summary. It's a little different than the previous one that you did, but not not that difficult to do. Um, and so there's no real JavaScript here. You just got to make the edit work. You got to do things like, you know, be able to put nasty characters in and do validation. You know, drop drop table students right so you've got to be able to put evil characters in and um, not have anything go bad either of course SQL injection is not going to happen because we're using PDO but also not HTML injection either and of course if we take a look at this we just see oh that's what's in there okay and and then uh, and then away we go with that. And so that's pretty, I like, and then the delete just has a verification. Don't always make sure your HTML entity is on this stuff as well. And there you go. And then you log out. So now I want to log back in and show you a little bit about how the foreign key works. So let me <clears throat> get logged back in. Log in. Okay, so let me start by showing you something about login. And it's in, it's, it's in the assignment. So it basically says, when you're logging in, you're supposed to um, put, you set up the session. We've been doing this before where you put user ID in into the session. So if we're in the login, right, we have the user ID. We do a select for user ID. And what user ID, of course, is, is the primary key of the user record. So in this case, it's one for this one that I just inserted, right? And so the idea is, is that you're going to take this, pull that out of the database, and then we're going to store it into the session. We're storing the user ID, which is the number, the primary key of the current user, and we're going to use that later. Okay, and then we redirect back to index.php. So now we are logged in, and we're at add new entry. And so this, and add new entry, of course, we're using these pieces of information to tell whether or not we're allowing the ad to happen. We've been protecting these this way for a while. And basically, if there is no user ID in the session, that die with access denied, okay? So now, let's go ahead and add the entry. Now, part of what it says is when you add this, you need to have a foreign key. So let's, let's go back to the foreign key. The foreign key is the pointer in the profile that goes to user ID. So this is the profile ID is the primary key in this table. User ID is the foreign key in this table. And so you're supposed to, when you're adding a record, there are no records currently in, you're supposed to set this user ID to the current logged in user. The current logged in user's primary key is sitting in session because you put it in session in the login code. So. And I give you this, I give you most of it in the handout, right? So the user ID, which is going to be inserted in the user ID with a little placeholder UID, and then that's going to pull it out of the session. So that is creating a new record in profile that has a foreign key into the user table that has the user ID. Okay? Um, and so let's, let's, that's pretty much it, right? So here's that code. Here's this code in here. Right, we're going to do the insert and we're going to pull this number out. And so I'm logged in as user number one. And so now when I run this thing successfully, I'm going to do an add and it's going to run that insert. But if I go look in my table right now, in the profile table, you see that there's that foreign key. And because we told MySQL that that's a foreign key, it actually is a hyperlink. Then we can jump into the user table to find the corresponding record in the user table. Okay. And so that you have to do. And in an upcoming assignments, you're going to have to be creating these uh, foreign key links. Uh, the next assignment is going to be a many, uh, many to one relationship. And the last assignment is going to be a many to many relationship. And so that's an important part of, of uh, this assignment. Um, and so I, I hope that you pretty much 
I think I covered most everything I wanted to cover. Um, good luck in this assignment, and I just want to emphasize that do this one really well. Take your time, understand every line of code. I know I say that in every assignment. That's because it, that's the only way we can build to increasingly difficult assignments. Okay? Thanks for listening.